This is your news source evening bulletin for today, Monday, the 30th day of July in the year 2018. Here's what we're tracking this evening. With the government talking about an early presentation of the 2019 national budget, the APNU AFC administration is being called into question by the Ghana Public Service Union over its failure to deliver on several promises made prior to its election to office and during its first year in office. GPSU President Patrick Yard told a media conference today that the membership of the union believes it has been too patient with the government and new strategies are being crafted to ensure the government addresses the concerns of public servants. We believe, regrettably, that the present state of the public service is due in large measure to the failure of the government of Guyana on the whole to remedy deep-seated issues. Mr. Yard said apart from the baggage that this government inherited from its predecessor, the administration has been considerably inattentive in addressing the plight of public servants. Rather than either move to honoring its own stated commitments and moreover to negotiate with the union from the perspective of fairness and principle, the administration unlike that not, unlike its predecessor, has opted for impositions that do no more than further frustrate public servants and more so create the impression that it is insensitive to the concerns of workers. He said among several concerns that need to be addressed are wages, salaries and allowances for public servants and sweeper cleaners and the failure to lend continuity to the Public Service Commission of Inquiry. He said public servants are made scapegoats of situations that come about because of complacency. And he also drew attention to similar plights being faced by public servants in uniform, such as soldiers and members of the police force. The GPSU president said the government's posture of not being attentive or honoring commitments made during negotiations with the union is an exercise in counterproductivity and short-sightedness. And it needs to change. More news in a moment. Stay with us. Summer is for selfies with lots of data from GTT. Activate a three-day or more data plan to get up to 35% extra data and the chance to win big. LOL this summer with GTT, Guyana's number one network. Summer is for friends, weekly prizes, and super summer getaways from Caribbean Airlines. So top of $1,000 or more and get 25% bonus credit plus a chance to win big. LOL this summer with GTT, Guyana's number one network. Welcome back. The Customs Anti-Narcotics Unit has announced the arrest of four men following the discovery of more than 250 pounds of marijuana during a Saturday morning operation. In a statement, Kanu said its ranks conducted the operation on the east coast of the Marara and found a wooden vessel and a taxi with several bulky bags of marijuana. The four arrested suspects have been identified as Jason Danpat, Inderjet Bpat, Jermyn Heichel and Thierry Akim Kush. The four men appeared in court this morning and were all remanded to jail on drug trafficking charges. They will return to court in the new month. The investigations are ongoing. Two persons were killed instantly last evening when the car they were traveling in slammed into another car at Beehive Public Road on the east coast of Demerara. And dead are 37-year-old Satyan Nanhari Prasad and 19-year-old Varsha Kamraj. Harry Prasad was a driver of PSS 9153 and was traveling along the main roadway just after 10 p.m. when he collided head-on with another motor car, PTT 5270. The driver of the other car told investigators that the car being driven by Harry Prasad was coming in the opposite direction when it suddenly swerved into his path and the two collided. The impact of the crash sent Harry Prasad's car into a nearby canal. According to the police department, Harry Prasad and his lone passenger were both pulled from the wreckage in an unconscious state and pronounced dead on arrival at a Myconi hospital. The driver of the other vehicle was unhurt and tested for alcohol consumption. There was no alcohol detected in his system, but he was still taken into custody as the investigation got on the way. The probe continues. 
And finally this evening, this afternoon, a 12-member jury found former GDF officer Alastair Wilford guilty of the unlawful killing of his friend back in 2014. The man had claimed that he did not know the gun that took his friend's life was loaded and that they were fooling around when he shot him and he died. The jury did not buy that story and returned the verdict today, even as the defendant showed no signs of remorse or emotions. Justice Sandal Kisun told the court that he will await a probation report before handing down the sentencing. That report could come as early as next week. And that's your news source evening bulletin for tonight. Gordon Mosley reporting.